Hello everyone and welcome back to another video here on Play on GAA. Today we are discussing 5 ways Dublin can win their crown back. Last season was a changing of the guard in the GAA, as the 6 in a row All-Ireland champions Dublin were knocked out at the semi-final stage by Mayo, and throughout the season there was an air of discontent surrounding the Dublin panel, stemming from the breach of Covid rules in their training session early in the year. The Dubs still claimed the Leinster title, making it 11 in a row but their defeat at the hands of Mayo left them short of their goal for the season. Now that the greatest unbeaten run in GA history has come to an end, these are the five ways that we believe Dublin can get their crown back. Number one, replace Desi Farrell. A controversial start, but if the rumours are to be believed, the Dublin camp was a very unhappy one last season, culminating in the complete loss of discipline at the end of their semi-final defeat against Mayo. There are multiple stories of players such as Jack McCaffrey, Paul Mannion, Stephen Cluxton and Eric Lowndes that have stepped away during his time. And even though he is an All-Ireland winning manager and managed the team fantastically in 2020, it is easier to replace a manager than an entire team. And if Dublin want to get back to their best, they need a happy camp. One in which all the players will want to play for their manager and for the team. So if the rumours are true, then the manager is easier to replace than a whole team. So who replaces Desi? Ideally it would be Jim Gavin, but he won't come back. A very very good option is Declan Darcy, and many were surprised he didn't get it in the first place. Bring in Darcy, and maybe he can bring about a fresh enthusiasm which will bring back a positive attitude to the Dublin camp. Number 2. Closure on Cluxton No doubt one of the biggest clouds hanging over Dublin's season was the future of their captain and talismanic goalkeeper Stephen Cluxton. The lack of a definitive answer on whether or not his season was over was one of the key points in the confusion around Dublin season, and fuel speculation about an unhappy Dublin camp. For Desi Farrell, or whoever is manager, there needs to be closure here. If Cluxton is gone from the panel, announce it, and have faith in the young goalkeeper Evan Comerford, who has shown time and again that he is more than a capable deputy. Cluxton will go soon regardless and losing the confusion surrounding his imminent departure will only lighten the burden on the rest of the squad. Number 3. Get the boys back in the team Another key factor in last year's collapse for Dublin was their missing stars. As well as Cluxon, they were also missing Jack McCaffrey, Paul Mannion and Eric Lowndes. These three had huge roles in the Dublin successes under Jim Gavin, and their premature departures from the squad further fuel speculation of an unhappy camp. Getting these lads back in the squad would give Dublin an immediate shot in the arm. Another lethal threat from the half-back line in McCaffrey, another brilliant player who can play anywhere in Eric Lowndes, and another match winner up front with Mannion. Number 4. Blood in new players The obvious part in which Dublin need to improve in, as well as bringing back their stars, is that they need to find new defenders. Keane Murphy from Thomas Davis and Andrew McGowan from Kilmuckle Croaks are very good options to bring in. As well as this, Shane Clayton from Ballyboden St Enders, Killian O'Shea from Kilmuckle Croaks and Lee Gannon from Whitehall Column Kill are all worthy candidates. Bringing these lads in would bring a fresh sense of competition to a defence in which the selection has become stale. Moving into midfield there has been a lot said about finding a partner for Brian Fenton and we feel that taking Howard out of the forwards and taking McCarthy out of the defence is too heavy a loss for both lines. However, the answer could lie in either Padero Kofik Byrne from Kula, who dominated all the way up through the ranks, or Shane Carthy from Nave Marnog, who continues to dominate matches for DCU and his club Nave Marnog over the last few years. Getting more minutes into all these players over the league could make Dublin even stronger going into 2022. Number 5. Unmuzzle the attack. That being said, even having them players back in the team can only do so much. If the style of play remains the same as last year, then they will fall short again. Dublin's style of holding onto the ball for extended periods of time meant that they kept teams in the game, and comparing this to their style from 2013 to 2020, it's completely inept. The key stat is the third quarter against Mayo in the semi-final, where they failed to score. Compare that to their third quarter against Mayo in 2019, where they completely blew them away. Mayo beat Dublin in the semi-final because they were braver and had a go. If Dublin had been more brave in the first half especially when they were undoubtedly on top, they could have been out of sight. Dublin need to play to their strengths and use their elite forwards that they've got. Give them all the freedom to express themselves and Dublin through this will go back to blowing teams away and they have every chance of reclaiming their All-Ireland crown. 
So those are five ways that we here at Play on GAA believe that Dublin can reclaim the All-Ireland title. Do you agree with us? Leave a comment below. And until next time guys, take care.